Good evening, everyone. It's Elise. Today is day 50 of the Undiet Code Jenny Craig journey. Personally, it's been a very, very rough day for me. I don't really want to talk about it just yet. Um, but I do want to talk about something a little more serious. Yesterday, I watched a show, Extreme Makeover fat people in a year and they weigh this and you know how much how they do it throughout the year and how they lose this guy lost 205 pounds yesterday it was crazy and he was 498 pounds when he started and obviously he got there by eating the wrong foods and doing the wrong things and as it turned out by the end he was using the weight and the food as a barrier because he was gay. He was a black guy and he was afraid to come out and be who he was. So he insulated himself. Um, he was also sexually abused. And, you know, a lot of people have been writing to me and saying, well, you just don't understand why I eat but I do understand why you eat. I've been there. I get it. I've been an abuse victim. I understand. I understand how good it feels to be physically, literally, far away from someone. The thinner you get, the closer people physically are to your body. And the more you have around you, the more fat you have, the further people are away from you. And I also get that the more you eat and the more you punish yourself because you're not worthy of a good and happy life, the more comfortable it is, the more you're living your self-fulfilling prophecy, the more you're carrying your abuse forward. Do you get what I'm saying? So it, it isn't enough that you're victimized by someone once twice, three years, five years. When that ends, you pick up where they left off and perpetuate it because of guilt, shame, whatever it is. Stop continuing to abuse yourself. The things that I have going on, my first instinct is to just stuff myself and stuff myself and stuff my feelings and I'm not going to. I'm sad. Oh, I'm sad. I'm overwhelmed. I am sad. But I'm not going to um, punish myself further by hurting myself. You know, um, here's a little secret. I was a cutter. I used to cut myself. I know you're all going to think she's freaking nuts, but I, I, I don't do that anymore. And it's too hard to get into right now. Um, but it, it's the same kind of thing. It's inflicting pain on yourself for many different reasons, either for release, because you deserve it, because pain is comfortable. All these things release it. Figure it out. Do it quickly. You do not know how much time you have. To my friend out there who told me today that I'm doing what I think is as much as my body can do, I challenge you. I don't think so. I do not think so. Do more than you think your body can do. Do it faster. Do it harder. Do it, do it like your life depends on it. Do it like... You're important. Do it like it was one of your kids, right? If it was one of your kids, you'd lay on fire. I want everybody to think of who they love the most. Pretend it's them. Because right now you're not in an I love me state, right? So pick someone else. I love my daughter, my son, my father, my mother, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my husband, my wife, whoever it is, pick them. And say, if this was them and they were dying in their own bones, 
Oh my goodness, I would lay in front of a train for them. Do that for yourself. Would you please? You just don't really know. You don't know. So, not going to let this beat me. I am going to be sad. And I'm going to surround myself with people that love me, that I love. And I want you to do the same. And we'll get through it together. Sometimes they're more rough than others. This is a rough time. But I'm going to continue to be good to myself. And I want you to do that, do that too. So, Emily's talking in the background. I know I look like shit. I've been crying all day. So, with that said, um, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Keep up being good to yourself. I will too. Love you.